Okay, this will be a real informal video on solving the Linux globbing um, lesson. Linux globbing, you download these two scripts into Linux. You can just type this li line in and it works, both of these. And what you wind up with, and I've actually done the, uh, the saving, see dot dot, bump. you wind up with 12,760 files, lots and lots of files in this glob directory. So I've done it, I've ran these two scripts, or I've ran the make script that actually makes this directory and all the 12,000 files. And we, we can check it if you want to. Before I go too much further though, using VMware Workstation, I want to take a snapshot. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again, but take a snapshot of where I am because I plan to make a mess. And we'll need to come back to this point at, at some point in the future. So right now I have, let's see, ls, glob let me see get a listing of the glob directory and tell me how many words there are and there are 12,760 so that's our starting point so I'm gonna say CD glob LS I'm gonna pipe it to more yeah I've not created any directories yet the first thing that it, we want you to do is to create directories for all the 2,000 years, 2,000, 2,001, 2,002, 2,003, 2,004, yada, yada, yada. So the easiest way to do that, one, I'm going to make sure I'm in the glob directory. If you don't put it in the glob directory, it's not going to work. Make directory 2,000, 2,001, 2,002, and that works just fine, especially when you're first learning. There's not a problem in the world with that. That's the most direct way of, of knowing that you're doing what you think you're doing. But sometimes once you sort of get the hang of things you can do that with the curly braces and now I'm going to do ls more and see that I've got 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and I'm good to go with my directories what well, might make that a little bit more clear there this shows that they actually are directories so I've got my directory structure and I'm good to go What's well, my first thing? My first thing is, it tells me, uh, when I say DWG files, I mean ends in .DWG and MP3 is the same thing. Um, move all the, the files beginning with Windsor to the 2000 directory. That's easy enough. And before moving, I'm gonna get an LS just to get a grip on, am I doing what I think I'm doing? LS. Windsor. What went wrong? Improper capitalization. Remember Linux is going to be very very picky on its capitalization. There. So tell you what I'm going to do. Um, since I have that grading script I'm going to say WC. Turns out that gives me 500. This is lines, words, and characters. So I have 500 files that that found. And before I even move them, I'm gonna say cd space dot dot so that I can get back to the check script. Let me do it the way I've got it listed. chmod plus x, nos120 star. Good enough. Notice that turned them nice and green so now they can be executed by saying dot slash also 20 glob check now I know it's gonna all of them are gonna be wrong at this point because I'm just beginning but it tells me that 2000 should contain 500 files and 500 is what I came up with so there's some reassurance yeah I bet that's it so now I can say um, CD glob not blob glob my command was there it is, ls Windsor. So I can just modify that and say move Windsor into, it said 2000, right? Use tab completion just to prove, yep, it's there. So there's those. Now I can go back and check it again, but I'm not going to take the time. The first one's right. Move all DWG files beginning with Camden, Charlotte, and Clyde into the 2001 directory. 
The first one was DWG Files 2. So actually what it should have been, to be, it worked, but to be more correct, it should have been, if I spelled it right, DWG. That's what it really should have been, to be a little bit more exact. Now I want to move all the ones that start with Camden, Charlotte, or Clyde. And what they've got in common is pretty obvious. It's a, it's a C at the beginning, but sometimes it's capitalized, sometimes it's not. So let's take a look and say LS. The very first character is either going to be a capital or a small C, right? The brackets or the braces, those are brackets, represent one character. In this case, there's nothing before it, so this is going to be the first character dot DWG. The Charlotte and Clyde. What was the other than Camden? Yeah. So I feel pretty good about that. Let's do a WC. Found out I have 1170. In the back of my head, I think I can remember 1170 for that second one. So to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and say move CC star dot DWG into 2001. All right, let's see what the next thing is. Move all the files with Ville in them to the 2002 directory. All right. LS, is Ville going to be at the beginning? Probably not. They're probably going to be toward the end. V-I-L-L-E. Is there a guarantee it's at the very end? No. WC. Looks like there's 2,000 of them. How about if I do this? Doesn't have any. Were they DWG files? All DWG files with Bill in them. So, yeah, that does make a difference. Still 2,000, we got, got away with it. All right, I'm going to pop back up again real quick and run that script. Check, 2,000 for the third one. Let's scroll back up and see what it's done. First one looks good. Second one looks good. This one should contain 2,000 files. So that's cool. CD flob. And that's going into 2002, right? All right. The next one's going to be two. Th what's, what are we looking for for the next one for 2003? Looks like only 100 files. So, what's the criteria? With Wilmington and have blue in them, they begin with their drawing files. Begin with Wilmington and have blue in them. Okay. LS, it starts with Wilmington. And then how do we specify that it has blue in it? Star dot DWG. Would that get Wilmington Blue dot DWG? Yeah, because the stars can resolve to nothing. 100 files. That looks good. So I'm going to say, was that 2003 where it was going? Okay. All right, let's see what the next one is for 2004. The remainder of the files beginning with Wilmington into 2004. Aha. Now that we've moved those out, I can say LS Wilmington star. Looks like there's 700 of those. Now, obviously, you would have had to have gotten the one before this right, or it would have thrown this one off. But since those are all gone, I can do this. Yeah. They're DWG files.
move all those into 2004. Looking good so far. Um, the next one for 2005 should have 1550. And it says move all MP3 files into 2005. That should be gravy. LS start out MP3. Word count it. Looks right to me. Move star dot mp3 into 2005. All right. 2006. I lost my window. 2006. Okay. All files with an SD or an ND in them. We don't want the MD ones into the 2006 directory. Okay, for this to work, let's do an ls. Now what's in common? We either want an sd or an nd. Right? So what they have is it's either an s or an n, capital S, capital N, and then a capital D. Is it going to be at the beginning or just somewhere in it? Just somewhere in it. So either an s or an n followed by a capital D. Did I say they were DWG files or anything like that? All DWG files with that in them. Dot DWG. Word count, 2400. Let's give it a shot. Move star. Two thousand six. All right. Instead of moving up there, I'm going to do this dot dot slash check in my parent directory. Run this script. There we go. We're down to two thousand seven. Should contain ninety six files. All right, yeah, this is the funky one. Into the 2007 directory. The 2 inch, the 4 inch, the 6 inch, or the 8 inch. Now, what we don't want to pick up is 16, 22, 12, basically anything with a number before it. We want specifically 2 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, or 8 inch. All right, so if I do an LS of two, four, six, eight underscore inch, I need to throw those stars in there too because it could be anywhere. And I'm going to pipe it all to more so I can catch it. Well, see, that's catching 12 and 16 and 22, which is not what we want. So, how do we say that we don't want the number? right before this to be a number or the character right before this to be a number how do we stop that we use a negation so some characters maybe maybe not wild card and then a letter it just can't be a number and then a two a four a six or an eight and then inch underscore inch and then more characters yeah that's gonna be my next step to do the to make it easier now that works but it's not quite as eloquent eloquent elegant or eloquent either one you can do zero through nine to make things easier and there are 96 of them which if if I'm correct that's what it should be so now I'm going to bring that back and say 2007 move. There we go. The next one for 2008, move all the drawing files that begin with 
Yizu, Suzuki, NFZ, Reds, and to the 2008 directory. That one's crazy. Sometimes you just have to take it in more than one step. Okay, I remember what I was doing right now. The, what's in common is they all have two letters and the third letter is a Z. There you go. Guys, if I'm gonna lecture, I'd rather you don't talk. All right, so the third letter is a Z. So, Let's do an LS. What can represent the first two characters being anything? Question mark, question mark, and then the third character is a Z, and then a star. WC. 500 files. So if I remember from the check script, that's what it should have been. And this is going to 2008. I may have cheated just a little bit on that. Did it say DWG files? Yeah. But we got lucky because the DWG files was all I had in there. In 2008. 2009 directory. Let's check it before I jump into this last one. Where is my dot dot command? There it is. Looking good except for the last two. Um, should contain 1200 files now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to show what you can't do and move all the files x000 zero, zero, zero through 299 what you don't want to do what's not legal is to say x000 zero, zero, zero through 299 which that's what you want to do you know just logically that's what you'd think but what that means is the second character can be a zero a zero a zero one or two and then a nine or a nine which is not really what we mean what we want is everything from zero 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 to 299 so what they would have in common the first character is going to be a zero one or a two right actually it's the second character zero through nine Zero through nine. So there's my three characters. The first one can be a zero, a one, or a two, and then the net the two after it can be any number, zero through nine. And what was it supposed to be? Twelve hundred. Move I cheat. Two thousand nine. Yeah, I th you get away with it if you do it the wrong way. I probably need to change my, my samples in there, but that's it. All right, I didn't want to throw my code in there, but that's it. All the way down through 2009 and what was left over. So, that's it.